All right, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, and today we're going to hopefully defend uh, the Avenger. As always, uh, things were not going in our favor, and today the Avenger had been shut down. It's not one of the Chosen, it's an actual Avenger defense mission, but it is the same concept. We need to defend it, and we need to destroy this beacon over here. One of the things that is quite normal when we're fighting uh, off waves of waves after enemies is there will be quite a few uh, packs of enemies already here in the uh, fog of war. So typically you're fighting against 20, 25 ish enemies. Um, I can only use the starting set of uh, soldiers for mechs into psionic um, warriors and whatever else uh, for rookies will come as backup but i suspect that bradford will not send in any rookies we're going to do what we're always doing which is setting up a fire line so moving in all of our mechs in one wonderful line we're also are going to put both of the psionic active characters psi operatives in full cover and I am going on to an Overwatch uh, trap. Since we do have four towers, we do have six operatives and four towers in Overwatch, meaning we're uh, shooting with a 10 uh, potential Overwatch, uh, um, uh, Overwatch units. So first pack is an Andromedon. And this is probably going to be very, very bad for it. Look at that. Everybody is taking shots. And that poor fellow just got smashed. As always, when an Andromedon dies, it'll come back in its shell. The shell, of course, does not trigger Overwatch right away. And there we go. Second pack. Like I mentioned, there are plenty of packs around. I wouldn't be surprised if even the third pack uh, moves in. Luckily, our mechs will have the option to react, and if Hunter triggers, they will even react multiple times. Unfortunately, Hunter did not trigger. Nice. Okay, perfect. So we killed uh, two, but quite a few of them are still standing. Good. Perfect, we're going into an overdrive, uh, reserve reinforcements have arrived, let's take a look uh, who he has sent, oh wonderful, it's VDM, uh, since DDM is a rookie, we can actually use him, good, but before we continue, let's first of all clear the battlefield, it is time for a massive, massive blaster bomb, this shell, hopefully remove most of the cover, and kill that soldier over here boom all right that worked out very well codices are cloning what was to be expected thanks to our superior uh, mm, uh, superior stock that was 100 percent kill even if we would have missed Let's see, that Andromedon shell, we should be able to either kill it, nope, not right away. Alright, good, let's use our towers. There we go, one down. Trying to hit the mech, very nice. Lots and lots of shots. Let's use uh, the towers first, because they are usually the ones that cannot move, and therefore I cannot acquire additional targets. Very good. And let's get that mech down first. All right, let's retry that. There we go. 
we successfully killed literally every single one of them. With the exception of this Andromedon shell. Which just died as well. Perfect. Good. Time to move up. Don't want to move up too far. Moving up the fire line. Did I miss anyone? Wait. Ooh, we actually missed one of them. Are you sure this weapon was properly assembled? This goes down without ammo. <laughs> okay, perfect. We really missed one of uh, the cortices. Oh, you're just kidding me. Okay. Moving over. We're not taking any chances. Avoid Rift uh, will kill it 100% of the time. There you go. Almost forgot about uh, the guy. Continuing to move our fire line a little bit further. Let's see if any additional pack is going to come in. No, the game did not expect us to kill those uh, two packs right away. So it's not sending more reinforcements. We, on the other hand, are going to slightly move over here. Taking the little high ground that is available for us. And similar to the many times before, we're going to take an Overwatch shooting line. I guess that'll be okay. The rest of the team can just stay here for now, to be honest. I am expecting that there will be reinforcements, and reinforcements usually come in like here or here. So having a few people that can stay back is definitely not a bad idea. Good. Lots and lots of Overwatch again. And, of course, our towers are going to Overwatch as well. So, the idea is that we're... Oh. Well. That's a pack of Chrysalids. Yeah, and guess who's hard countering Chrysalids? Damn right, it's robots. Not only are we immune to their... <laughs> and a car exploded just in the background. Not only are we immune to their uh, poison, but they also do not hit very hard. So with the immense amount of armor that we do have available, we are usually quite safe. Good. In the Fog of War, we've already seen that there is one more pack here, a Berserker, and I've seen some advents over here. So that's just as a heads up. Trying to not trigger the Berserk. I'm just trying to move a little bit closer. There we go. Uh, let's give our mech over here this unit is now reloading. another kill because it still needs Physical to level up. Outpoint. There we go. And that's the kill. Wonderful. Pretty good. Observe how it's done. And we got a promotion as a reward for that. Moving up. Dagger up here. Reload. Might just reload. And we can give it an overwatch. Moving just a tiny bit closer. Ranvin moves up as well. And the EDM moves up as well. Overwatch. Uh, Darktown Noxus is a sniper as such. We're not allowed to use him. So he's just going to hunker down. The rest is overwatching and reinforcements will be coming in so they will be in for a surprise let's take a good look 
so that's only two of them. Oh boy. You should have not come here. The all too familiar advent. There we go. That poor schmuck just got completely obliterated. Everybody was just going ham on him. Good, we got one more pack over here. Uh, and one right next to the actual beacon. I was hoping that extra pack might come in this turn. Fortunately, that seems to be not the case. Can't hit this guy. Um, yeah, let's just remove some cover, shall we? Nice little big fat shredding gun. <laughs> that is hilarious. We almost hit the guys back here. Good. We're going to be action efficient. So reload first and then let's take a shot. There we go, blue screen rounds completely obliterated it. And we still got the towers. I will pull the next pack now. So this here very much is going to trigger on that additional pack. And that's the Berserk I was talking about. Thankfully Hunter begins to trigger right again okay cool very good see and the good part is now that we do have towers you can start use uh, using them as always towers shoot first it's a little bit further as a distance so they cannot hit that well but 25 percent is still respectable and keep in mind if even if we do not hit there is a good chance that the cover will be removed of course if we can hit the berserk that is preferable there we go berserk down and let's continue with the lancer Okay, well, that was not the most successful pair of shots ever. Just moving up a tiny bit. Dr. Noxus, as I mentioned, is not allowed to participate. So, how about... How about reloading and if we were to... Yeah, we can't fully take out all of the cover. I like the idea though. The normal shredder gun could already take that one here, uh, that one out. Okay, perfect, good. So let's overdrive. And let's try out, uh, try out uh, the cover removal first. This should remove all of the trees. Yep, very nice. And now it's time to hopefully kill this guy. It's one hit. And that's another one. Damn right. Are you kidding me? We can't see this guy from here. Wow. Okay. Well, we're not going to overextend, that's for sure. We can take away the last bit of cover for him. And also shred him. There we go. 
Oh, it was not shredding. Okay, well, it still took away the cover. Overwatch. I... I almost don't want to use the overdrive. He's anyways just going to run back. Like, he has a single turn. So, I'm going to be greedy here. And just overwatch. Tactical analysis means he's running away. He's he's clustering up with uh, his friends. And that's about it. And the reason why I was stingy, as always, is because I want the extra actions now. Well, not now, but very soon. Next turn, to be precise. Well, that guy's almost down. Moving up, we do have an autoloader here, so don't panic if you see that the ammunition is empty. There we go, some extra kills. Giving our newbie the sweet, sweet experience uh, that it needs. We're leaving all of the other soldiers a little bit further behind. Kind of in a range where they can simply sprint. Sprint away. Halop uh, is another rookie. Perfect. We can use him. And the last remaining mech moves up without triggering. Good. Our towers, Overwatch. Oh no, oh, I've clicked Overwatch, but yeah, it doesn't matter. He will not shoot. Just want to make sure that we're, that we're not using the sniper, because I promised... I promised that uh, we're not going to use any other uh, units, so I should hunker down immediately. Good! It is time to trigger the last pack. Ooh, okay, wow. Well, we can use some extra actions, uh, that's for sure. That's a lot of enemies. Oh boy, and a big fat sector pod. Okay, all right. Good. Now it's time, see, the greed pays off. Now it's time to use all of the stored energy that we had before. And just mercilessly release it. Bang. Wonderful. Good, we're continuing with our towers. And first things first, we're killing the target objective because now we just need to run the hell out of here. Perfect. Good, we can theoretically flee the scene and it's not that inattractive, to be honest. We're trying to hit those guys. Very low uh, odds, because we're so far away. There we go, that's a solid hit. One of them is down. 25%. Hmm. 30%. Okay, well, not the best chances. That's okay. I would almost be inclined to just book it. Hmm. But, sector port is pretty fast. And we don't want to leave that guy behind. OK, 
Okay, so let's think that through. Moving over to here. Very nice. They are literally just standing there like chicken. And yeah, we're going to hit all three of them. That's what I'm talking about. Good, that's a really, really solid hit. <clears throat> Do we have any more area damage that we could uh, deploy back there? No. Let's start with uh, trying to hit the sector pot. Only 30% shots. Nope. Towers unfortunately do not hit, but we got one uh, last tower. 30% would be 1 in 3, 25 would be 1 in 4, so the expected value of all of those shots would have been at least one hit. Too bad it didn't happen. Okay. Let's still continue. Moving. Moving up. Overdriving. And let's kill this purifier. Intended target. Okay, let's try that again. Because the purifier might explode and kill the guy right next to him. Enemy unit destroyed. Nope, depletion. he did not explode. And not only did he not explode, he also triggered Undying Loyalty, which yet again triggered another enemy. Okay, things are not going perfect. We're killing the biggest targets. We're probably not going to be able to kill the sector bot, which stinks. But it has too much hit points at this point. I apologize for your untimely death. Every everyone else is dead at this point. What we can do though is we can move up. And we got a Mimic Beacon. Said Mimic Beacon should be in range of the Sector Port to be seen. Meaning the Sector Port will go for the Mimic Beacon. Reloading Overwatch here. Going right over here. And the reinforcements should at least take some shots. Not the most successful turn ever. The Sector Port is still alive. But... We should be fine. Good. From now on, every round there will be, or every second round, there will be reinforcements. So we gotta really start moving out of here. Well, we hit him, but he's still sort of alive. Let's see what the uh, what the sector port is going to do. Well, he's trying to lightning field. That really didn't do anything. The in this has Ouch! That hurt. That hurt a lot. That's okay, we can still heal. More enemies are now coming in. We're going to start with exactly the same strategy as the last time. 
which is let's use the towers and eliminate as many of the enemies as possible holy moly 50 percent chance to hit and it's the third time that we haven't for a fourth time now that we need to hit okay cool Good, so slowly but surely, we're grinding through the enemies. There we go, finally. Alright, so... So a chance for mind control, 80%, that's not too bad. But we're going to do the second best, which is just straight up kill him. Yep, he's bent over that stone like the bitch he is. Alright, time to heal our spark. Going to finish that sector pod and then we're going to get the hell out of here. Payback time. Just because they do have the bigger robot doesn't mean that they're right. Preparing to re -engage. Reloading and we're slowly but surely wiggling this guy down. Almost there. Yeah, that looks like a nice little kill shot. Yeah. All right, moving back. We're going to Overwatch. The DM reloads and Overwatches. Noxus is still not allowed to do anything, so he's just going to wait. Overwatching, reload Overwatch. And that should be pretty much it. We're getting some more reinforcements. And we're now, after this re uh, set of reinforcements, we're now going to run our sparks back. That's exactly why we kept them as a team. And then we're getting the hell out of here. Well, guess what? It's a bad idea to run away. Because you're going to be shot into the, your back. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep, he's dead, guys. It's all. It's all good. You got him. You got him good. Good. Now you can see. Even uh, another pack of reinforcements is coming in, just like the last time. And that will happen every single round from now on. So we're going to use our towers to give us the fire support that we need. There we go. Almost killed this guy. And down it goes. All right. So, Moving. one more turn, and then we're going to move everyone out of here. I'm bringing down. Halo moves uh, back. Double tide. On the move. Good. So, Movement request confirmed. let's move back. On the move. I only got one more ammunition, so I need to reload here. Probably can't flee in just one turn. Advancing. As such, doesn't make any sense to As you wish. 
move too fast. Might as well stick with the pack. Overwatch. 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 And we got a couple of Overwatches now. Takes one more turn afterwards, but that way we can be sure that everybody gets out uh, safe and sound. They are dropping Advent Priests now. Won't really help him, uh, help them. Surprise, more Advent. Yeah, surprise, surprise, guys. Probably shouldn't have come here. Okay, that guy is pretty tough. Did they really make it out of there? Kidding me? Wow. Okay. Kudos. For just running through all of that. Okay, same deal as before. We're going to kill the Advent Max first. Our towers are giving us fire support. There we go. Okay, cool. Everybody is dead. White Rift is like what? Three to six? No, that's not good enough. But another lens would be good enough. So, yep, that should be a kill. There we go. Alright. Now the field is pretty clear and we can just move everyone back and next turn we're going to simply leave. Yes, there is nothing more for us to win over here. Good. Reload, Overwatch. Hunk it down, we still can't use that unit. And there's the next pack of reinforcements. Nothing to worry about. They will pr uh, just drop down. At this point, the reinforcements will come every single round. And there we go. Target still standing. Stun Lancer certainly the armor. took the short end of the stick here by just running into everybody's line of sight. Good, so that would be the next rounds the next rounds reinforcements. Like I mentioned, all we need to do is get out of here now. Good. It's not even a need to kill those guys. Alright, moving everybody into the evac zone. No man is being left behind. And no robot, of course, as well. Good, we got one more soldier who is not in the target uh, zone. Who could that be? Oh no, every every soldier is in the target zone. Perfect, good. Lift off Avenger. 
And that's it guys, excellent! With the exception of taking one shot, the rest of the mission was a walk in the park. We killed them all and successfully defended the Avenger. All right, we've just landed and look at that. Corsius got a promotion and we're definitely going to go with the depth of aim. Having another fire support is great. 50 days gravely wounded? I doubt that. Highly, highly doubt that. Also, we can simply take him on a mission without any negative. Good. So. Let's take a good look. Now that we're no longer hunted, might as well heal faster because that's what we wanted to do beforehand whilst we're invading the stronghold of uh, the warlock so let's heal faster all negative traits are removed perfect so that gives us an option to maybe get someone else in here yep quick feet gets his negative traits removed as well that's perfect In. Got another alien facility. That's really not a big problem. Rather uneventful at this point. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar. And we got ourselves finally the Psionic Gate. That's good. Take a look at our potential research. Could go with the Viper King Autopsy. This Avatar. Quickly getting his armor. You know what? Why not? I mean, it's a good uh, set of armor. Might as well just get it. And let's continue the healing process. And we got our next mission, guys. The game obviously wants me to play one or two more missions. Look at that. We only got nine enemies here. It almost screams uh, that there is gonna be um, an alien ruler. Hidden event, it's, that looks pretty much like something we would want to do. And also a lot of robotic enemies, that's even easier. This here is not necessary to uh, be countered. Another hidden event. Any mission timer will not start. No, I think we're going to go for this one here. Specifically since with only nine enemies, I want to trigger and see if that uh, allows us to kill the last alien ruler. Let's take a look before we end this um, mission. We got the Viper King Autopsy almost done. We got 11 more days until the Warlock. The only thing that we need to research in the Shadow Chamber once we got um, the armor done is the Avatar Autopsy. So we're kind of on the final lap there as well. In terms of upgrades and whatnot, um, we could probably build yep one more experimental heavy weapons uh, power weapon that is might as well do that we'll get started right away commander i'll send word when the project so that is a great option as well and other than that you know there's really not that much going on we got some finalizing of our psionic training and in here everything looks pretty damn normal our spark that had been wounded is taking some time to be repaired but like i mentioned it you can simply take them onto the mission and heal them at the very beginning of the mission uh, which really doesn't cause any problem so that's fine as well everything seems to be in order if you like order then it's time to orderly uh, go and uh, do a comment down below uh, because that's helpful for the channel you would do me a solid and we see each other in two days we're, we're finally doing probably the last guerrilla um, ops mission of this run take care and see you bye bye